This is Western Mass News. Just days after a deadly weekend wave of violence in multiple communities in our area, one Springfield Resource Center is looking for solutions to the deadly shootings. Good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavali. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days is just steps away from an event already in progress at the Daryl Lee Jenkins Junior Resource Center. And Wesley, they say it's all about saving lives. Yeah, and that's the title of today's event, Chris and Abby. I'm going to actually step out of the way so you guys can see what's going on behind me here. It's a national event with a strong local support from a community that knows all too well the power and pain the pistol can have in a community. Save our streets is for us to save our communities nationwide. It's the fifth annual Save Our Streets Push, an annual national gun violence awareness initiative with personal ties for Juanita Bachelor, the leader of the city's event. Started because my son Daryl was killed in 2014 and we started a movement of just remembering loved ones and re not letting pe the city officials forget that our loved ones were taken in these streets. The event comes on the heels of a dangerous weekend in the Pioneer Valley. Two deadly shootings, one killing a person in Holyoke early Saturday morning, while another incident in Springfield took a man's life later that evening. Grassroots community-based organizations that are really foot on the ground would sit down with each other and try and come up with a way to make these incidents help them before they even get started. Above all, Bachelor wants people to come to Tuesday's event with more than their sympathies. She wants people to know they have a shelter from the violence. I want people to walk away with they're not alone. They're not the only ones feeling these traumas of violence. Um, everyone's trauma matters. And I want you to take a look right now at who's speaking in the front of the room at the Daryl Lee Jenkins Junior Resource Center. I want you to meet Amber Ward. Tonight at 6 o'clock, I actually had the chance to sit down with Amber to speak about the incident that led to her shooting. She's now trying to speak to young people and students in this area to help prevent the violence from keeping going through this summer. You don't want to miss our conversation tonight at 6. Reporting live in Springfield, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.